been expelled for not following the dress code policy. Their hair is simply too distracting for society. Three-year-old baby asked mommy, what's wrong with you? Child, there's nothing wrong with you. You see, your puffs are a part of you. Embrace your identity. God made you a reflection of nature. That's why you resemble the trees. You are you, they are them. Let me give you some clarity. Me, you, and the boy down the street were all born differently. Can I touch your hair? Can I touch your hair? Can, can I, I touch, touch your hair? hair? Before I can even get the words out of my mouth, a hand is already making its way up to pat my head, not even to touch me. I stop and internally scream. Ignorance is bliss, but this isn't a euphoria to me. After you walk away, I glare at you menacingly on how I hate this question. Seems like people need to learn how to keep their hands to themselves. Let me teach you a lesson. I'm not going to stand here and have you listen to an ordinary story of oppression. I just want to give you some knowledge on my dead blessing. Your hair is unprofessional. It's ghetto. What's unprofessional is that you put yourself on a pedestal and shame on people like me. Blacks have been chemically processed by the master's madness and still struggle to stay alive in society. <laughs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's fine, but you can't have preconceived notions about my sea of kinks and my rich melody. My sun kissed skin is nothing revolting. All black people look the same, but with different names, so they all must be the same. So you called us the N-word, putting us in a category. Take your time. Mm -hmm. So you called us the N-word, putting us in a category. I can't say the N-word because I don't want to step on people's feet, but ain't that what y'all use to keep us weak? A bunch of N-words is all we'll ever be. Being ridiculed for the keratin that naturally grew from my roots deep within. It's always been a struggle for me to fit in. The straightness of my hair didn't seem to match the colors of my skin. I shed my ways of uniformity to fulfill my true beauty. The length of my roots sprouting up to a tree, not for your hands to touch. For you see, this 4C is for and a part of me. So please don't pat my hair, you mad it down. For these actions may not be a big deal, but these kinks and curls are not for you to twerk. Time trials and tribulations are not for your hands, your tainted hands to touch me. You have the audacity to come for me, to judge me, to stare at me, and to pat me as if I'm a lost puppy. Why must I have to reside in the lines the whites created for me, prohibiting me to thrive? You gotta work out the case, they say, but these are intentional, these aren't accidental. My coils, my curls, my, my zigzags, I embrace this nappiness, I embrace this blackness. Don't tell me to calm down! Don't tell me to calm down, I've had enough relaxers. I go on natural and you cast a spell on my psyche and shame on people like me. Nothing is ever good enough for you. How are you going to tell off my hair? It's not your place. You walk around like Kim K with cornrows and lemon braids and act like it's something that you made. And now my boy DeAndre can't even graduate? What have we come to when the hypocritical are just so critical? I wear my fro, it's a no. I wear my waves and I'm fake. I wear dreads so I should be locked up. Now your yeah, neighborhood's gonna get shot up. I mean, my neighborhood's gonna get shot up. <laughs> Didn't want an altercation, but that ain't stopped Brookville Station. Can't look at my mom in the face and say I made it. I wear box braids that could save down this ocean that was once looked at as a shame. One day, I might want to be Kunta Kinte, the next day, poetic justice, but no one stopped beating me when I became Toby. Been, de been degraded by the system. When I speak, they don't listen. You've heard this time and time again, but this is our justice. I'm not a preacher. I'm, I'm just, just a young poet. So, so the, the next time, time you ask the question there, there remember your common, common courtesy. courtesy. Don't, don't focus on the outside, focus, focus on me. Is that your real hair? And I forgot to ask. Can I touch your hair?